Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to my mail call video for April 2023. Um, it's currently the 10th of May and we're doing the month of April on the 10th of May because I like to give a little bit of time for some cards to come in the mail that may have taken a little bit longer. So I picked up the mail. I'm ready to open up all the cards and see what birthday cards you all have sent for April. So birthday cards was the theme for April. So you're going to see lots of birthday cards. I do have a couple that were from previous months that came in a little bit late. So you'll see those as well, but I'm first going to start out by showing you a lot of the cards that stood out to me. And then I will show you everything that I received. So let's get into it. This first card is from Barbara Taylor in Virginia. And look at this fun scene she's created. Um, it's got like some kind of gold patterning all on the pattern paper back here. Looks like a house and there's a little tiny door for a house. So cute. And it's the coffee house and then happy birthday. I thought it was just so well executed and really cute. There's even, you know, a little bit of acetate on the windows. Just so creative. I love that so much. So once again, this was Barbara in Virginia. Next up, we have a very colorful card from Sylvia in Alabama. And look at this cute, cute card. I love this little, little pops of holographic and also these gems down here. I think it's so cute. It creates such a fun scene. It says, a birdie told me it's your birthday. Such a fun card. I love all the ink blending and all that die cutting. It looks so super cute. I love it. This next card is from Carol in Maryland. And I thought it was such a fun, colorful way to use a background you've made. She had it uh, behind this kind of intricate die cut and there's some textured paper here and then inside birthday wishes. I thought it was just so pretty and I love that the colors are soft, very spring-like. I thought it was really pretty. So Carol in Maryland. This next card is from Libby in Colorado who is 15 years old. And look at these fun die cut elements that she's included, created a heart out of all of those elements. I think it's just so cute. I love that she's put sequins in the center of all of the flowers, such a fun card and really, really well executed. Great craftsmanship, just beautiful. This next card is from Kim in St. Louis, Missouri. Look at this fun card and it looks like she made this textured brick using a stencil. Really fun card all put together with a little message on the inside. So cute. I was really taken with this card from Paige in Ontario, Canada. Look at all these fun die cuts. There's lots of dimension on this card. I love this little streamer squiggly coming out. I think it's so fun. Such a fun birthday card. I couldn't resist this card from Jackie in Tennessee. Look at all those little kitties adorable the perfect cup happy birthday so cute and then you can turn it around that direction too it's almost like she's colored my two kitties i've got daphne who's a little bit lighter and sophie who's a little darker i don't know if that's what she meant but that's what i see so such a cute fun card i'm loving all the die cut cards you guys are sending i just love cards like this they're so amazing this one is from nancy in tennessee and i love all the dimension like this bird has popped up quite a bit just layer with the flowers inside the banner and then this uh, textured background. I think it just looks so cool. All right, so I've got a stack of cards here that were really special. I want to read you this card. Uh, it says, in, uh, Christina, in 2021, we retired from California to North Carolina. For over 24 years, I have had women and some men in my home to craft. In California, the ladies had created cards in my nook, submitted cards to mail call in March of 2016. Through several Facebook card making groups and my neighborhood, my North Carolina nook was established. Every Thursday we meet and I teach a new technique or introduce a tool. That sounds fun. I want to go. Enclosed are the cards created by my new North Carolina friends. We are thankful for all your inspiration, for bringing mail call back, sharing inspiration by others, and for donating the cards you receive. May someone's birthday be blessed by these and all the cards that are submitted. Thank you again for bringing crafters together. So isn't that just so fun? And there's the picture of all of them. Hope they're okay with me showing that. But I believe these are all of the cards. 
I kept, I tried to keep them all grouped together. So hopefully these are all the cards. If I missed one, I'm so sorry. And maybe uh, someone who was not in this group is somehow in this group, at, but they sounds like you'd want to be. So I just wanted to just show you all of the cards because I thought they were so fun. So uh, this one is from Brenda. I believe this is the Brenda who has the nook. <laughs> so cute. I love that. Next up, it's from Lynn in North Carolina. Look at how pretty that is. Next up, we have Sheila. Oh, she's got a fun little inside here. Love those stamped balloons. Such a fun birthday card. Next up, we have Lynn in North Carolina. Looks like it might be a different Lynn. I'm not sure. I love this stamp. That's such a good stamp. Oh, and there's the inside. Now we have a shaker card from Sandy. I love that shaker, it's so cute. That's a great background for our birthday shaker card. This one is from Lara. It looks like she's got a little inside message on this one too. Love all that coloring and the dimension of the dragonfly, so cool. This next one is Nina. And this one didn't say if it was from the Nook, so I wasn't sure. This might be one that snuck in. <laughs> but either way, this is from Nina in North Carolina. And then we have Betty, also in North Carolina. Such a fun die cut to use on this. And I like the enamel dots added on for a little bit of shine and dimension. So here's that card. I went, Mail call. I love it. So fun. So thank you all um, from the Nook for sending all of your cards. I think it's just so great. So those are all the cards that really stood out to me that I wanted to share with you. So now I'm going to show you all the rest of the cards that I received for April for the theme of birthday cards. So here we go.
aren't all of those amazing? I love them so much. I love all the interactive stuff. I had to make sure I showed you that in video instead of just a picture so you guys can get an idea of what those interactive cards are. So, so fun. So for those of you who would like to participate in a future month of mail call, all the info is listed down below in the video description or over at my blog. All you have to do is click over there and print out the sheet. It's a PDF and it basically has, you know, four of these on one sheet and you can print it out and send those cards in. Please only send one card per month per person, just because I want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to have their cards shown. And I hope to see all of your lovely creations very soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video very soon. Thank you.